Hello, I'm Kai Wenzhen from Tsinghua University. Today I will talk about our research on email spoofing attacks, make links in authentication chains, a large scan analysis of email sender spoofing attacks. At first, let's take a look at how email spoofing attacks happen. An attack sends spoofing emails as a trusted entity. When the victim opens the email and clicks on the malicious link, it will lead to a serious phishing attacks such as financial data leak. Although the email spoofing attacks is an older and simple attacks, it still has a huge impact today. Email spoofing attacks has increased over 600% due to the coronavirus pandemic. FBI also reports that email phishing attacks has resulted in a loss of $12.5 billion just over two years. As Jen Jameson, former Secretary, Department of Homeland Security said, the most devastating attacks by the most sophisticated attacks almost always begin with the simple attacks of spear phishing. Here is an example of email spoofing attack we found. On the left, the SMTP data of email, and on the right is the screenshots of displayed email. This attack implodes the IDM homograph attacks discussed in our paper. We can see that spoofing emails has a particular good deception effect. It is so hard to spot these spoofing emails. To defend against email spoofing attacks, various email spoofing protections have been proposed and standards. Now, SPF, DKIM, and DMARC are widely used. The SPF protocol verifies sender IP based on mail from or hero header. The DKIM protocol verifies the email based on the signature. So the DMARC protocols are associated to the identity in mind from with the results of SPF and DKIM. Finally, if the email files SPF, DKIM, or DMARC verification, it would most likely be dropped into the spam box. For UI level spoofing protection, some email service had a secret indexing to alert receiver that the actual email sender may not be the displayed one. We call this protection measure as the sender inconsistent checks. However, with this anti spoofing protections, we wonder why email spoofing attack is still possible. To address this question, we contact our research. We systematically analyze for critical state of authentication chain, sending authentication, receiving verification, forwarding verification, and the UI rendering. We found 14 email spoofing attacks, including nine new attacks. To understand the real impacts of email spoofing attacks in the real world, we conduct a large scan experiment of 13 popular email servers and 23 email clients with billions of users in total. We believe their security issues can expose a wide range of common users to threats. The results show that all of them are vulnerable to certain types of attacks, including reputable email service in, such as Gmail and Outlook. Then we introduce the attacks we found. In general, there are three common types of attack models. The first one is a shared MTA attack. We assume that Oscar has an email account, which is different from Alice's account. Oscar can send spoofing emails through the MTA of A.com by modifying the mail from, from or username headers. The second one is director MTA attack. Oscar can send the spoofing emails through his own email server. He can spoof an arbitrary sender by specifying the mail from and the mime from headers. The last one is forward MTA attack. Oscar can abuse the email forwarding service to send spoofing emails. Then we introduce various techniques employed in email spoofing attacks. Email sender verification is a necessary step to ensure email authenticity. We consider an email spoofing attack successful if we can modify our username mail from from a visual. Attack in email sending authentication can abuse the IP reputation of a well-known email service. As shown in the figure, we can send spoofing emails with different as username and mail from header. We can also send 
spoofing emails with different mail from and mail from headers. During email receiving verification, SPF became and demark as a prevalent mechanism used to account email spoofing attacks. If an attack can bypass these protocols, it can pose a serious security threat to email ecosystem. For users, it is also hard to spot these realistic spoofing emails. Let's take empty mail from attacks as an example. Empty mail from is allowed to prevent bone loopback on some special messaging in RFC 5321. Besides the receiving, MTI must complete the SPF verification based on the hero feed if the mail from header is empty. However, the abuse of a hero feed in real life makes some email service disable the standard and take a more loose approach over verification. As a result, an attack can abuse it to bypass SPF verification. Due to the lack of best practice and the complexity of the MIME standard, another huge challenge is how to pass ambiguous email correctly. For example, we utilize multiple headers technical in email spoofing attacks to bypass the mark. We can also make more distortion on the MIME from header, such as adding space before or after the from headers. In email forwarding stage, we consider an attack is a successful if the attack can fully configure forwarded email to any account without verification. Besides, the forwarded service may give the forwarded email a high security endorsement. As shown in the finger above, we can abuse the sender's trust IP resource to bypass SPF and DigMark. We can also export forward service to get a high security endorsement, such as a legal DKIM signature. The last month and the most critical part of email system is to ensure that email are rendered correctly. And in this stage, we consider an attack is successful if the displayed this address is inconsistent with the real one. At the same time, no any security alerts on the MUA. International email introduced new security challenges to the email UI rendering. It allows Unicode characters in email address. The homography attack is a new web security issue, but its security risk to the email system has not been systematically discussed. We also find that many characters can, be, can affect the rendering of MUA. Some, some characters may be missing UI rendering attack. Right to left override tells computer to display the text in a right to left order. There are some limitations on a single attack. Some attacks cannot bypass all protections. In addition, most vendors have fixed the attacks bypassing on SPF, the CAM, the MAC, and SIC. Therefore, combined attack is a good choice in practice. The finger shows an example of successful email send spoofing attacks on three email security protocol gave pass verification results to the spoofing email. For small the receiver MUA don't display any security alerts. Therefore, it is challenging to identify whether such email is spoofing, even for people with a senior technical background. There are numerous flexible combined attacks by combined three types of attack models and 14 attack techniques in for the four authentication stages. We can improve different attack techniques like logout to carry out combined attacks. Next, we will talk about the root cause. First, the protocol verification process is one of the weak links in the authentication chain. SPF, the Kim, and the Mark are proposed and standardized to prevent email spoofing attacks from different aspects. Spoofing attacks is still succeed due to the inconsistency of entity protected by different protocols. Email delivery process involves four different roles, senders, receivers, forwarders, and UI renders. However, the specification do not state any clear responsibilities of four roles. Any third party can break the whole chain based defense.
Finally, different email service, different configure and implementation procedure. In addition, numerous email composed derived from RFC specification while dealing with ambiguous header. So the existence among different service create secret thread. Mitigation. We have duly reported the vulnerability to related email service providers and received positive response from 11 from them, including Gmail, Yahoo, iCloud, and Alibaba. Of windows have 10 months to mitigation it before this paper is published. As we all know, a good visual security notification has a positive effect on mitigation phishing email threats in the real world. So we released a UI notification schema in the form of chromation for Gmail called No Spoofing. Besides, we also released uh, our testing to publicly on GitHub for email administrator to everyone to increase their security. That's all. Thank you.